Hey everybody, what's going on? Adam Agro here, and I'm gonna be playing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer on the Wii. And, uh, yeah, this, uh, this title music right here isn't Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Yep, that's not Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer at all. Doesn't really sound holiday-y, but whatever, we're grooving to it. Throwing the, uh, the Wiimotes around like we do. Not wearing our straps. We're not strapped on and prepared for this, but no worries. Uh, for those of you out there who are uh, of the higher IQ, you may notice that this video is less than 15 minutes. And yes, we do play the full game, so that should be an indicator. Hold the Wii remote like this. I guess we need to hold the remote sideways. And uh, yeah, this is the most hardcore part of the whole game, right here. High voltage, yeah! Bad as fuck. Okay, now you know we got story mode, level select, which there are only four games, spoilers, options, all that shit. We're just gonna get started, because why waste more time than we have to? We got a decent slew of characters, although there isn't much difference in who you pick for what game, but I'm gonna go with Santa. Welcome to Christmas Town, also known as the North Pole. Let me introduce myself. I'm Sam the Snowman. Nice to meet you. What? Haven't you heard of a talking snowman before? Well now, you got here just in time. Santa needs your help decorating his tree and filling his bag of toys for Christmas. Where is Santa, you ask? Why, he's just up the road a bit. First castle on the left, well, the only castle on the left. Hurry along now. <laughs> oh god, some top quality voice acting right there. Uh, it doesn't sound too much like the movie, though. But here is the first game. We need to, um, knock the presents and ornaments onto the tree and, uh, throw the toys into the bag on the left there. And, um, yeah, we move left and right using the tilt action, which is kind of bullshit. I don't know why, since we're holding the controller sideways, we can't just use the left and right arrows, but whatever. And, uh, unless you play this game, which I highly recommend that you don't, um, you don't know how difficult poorly executed this is. Um, I've actually played this more than a few times because I did end up playing it on my live stream. But, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty, f it's pretty fucking terrible, uh, to, to say the absolute least. Here we start working together like a team-ish kind of thing, you know, as good as a, uh, a, f a fat man with poor cholesterol and a, uh, deer can possibly do. But yeah, you can jump by um, flicking the thing, the Wiimote, up and down, or just hitting the two. I normally hit the two, and you can see the gingerbread over there telling me what to do. But uh, yeah, not, not a whole lot of fun to be had in this. Um, you know, still kind of easy. There's no negative repercussions. Like, you don't fail the fucking thing by not putting so many lights on or anything like that, so... It's not really a big deal. I just don't know how much fun anybody would be having with this game, per se. I gotta admit, the elf's kind of funny. Is that that ornament went out of range. Couldn't do anything about it. Not much I can do. Once you start bumping it the wrong way, it's hard to get it kind of going back in the right direction, which is super duper annoying. And the time limit seems to be the same for each game, which is why it's such a short game. Right there, the present route of range. We couldn't get it underneath the tree. So fuck that. And they say underneath the tree, but you basically just have to hit the tree with it. So it goes the same place as the ornaments. Nothing, uh, nothing really special about it. But, yeah. So, uh, this is commentary on, on Rudolph on the Wii. I hope you're enjoying it, and I uh, hope you guys had a good holiday season. I know uh, mine was pretty much irrelevant. Well, I did this. This was me celebrating, so it sucked. And there we get to see the Yeti, who's big and fucking scary. I wish you could play as him. If you could play as him, this game would be awesome. But he put the star on the tree, so that makes it all better. Here's some loading times. Festive snowflakes. And you get to select your character between every minigame, so I guess that's something. I'm gonna be the elf. You did a fine job up at the castle. 
There are many toys waiting to be finished before the big night, and time is running short. Could you go over to Santa's toy shop and help paint the toys? Then, of course, we're treated to some fine voice acting in the sweet ass loading screen right here. Alright, so this game, easily explained, is um, as soon as a toy turns your color, left player being red, right player being blue, you fling the Wiimote and you will automatically paint it. No aiming is involved, no skill is involved, you don't, you just flick it. And you don't get any negative repercussions for missing, so you can basically just flail to your little heart content. I do believe you get additional points um, for hitting the farther ones, I believe is how they do it. But um, other than that, yep, just flail away and try to get more points in player two. Um, there isn't a special victory pose uh, for the person winning over not winning since you're technically working together. But not, there are there is a high score screen that's not customizable at all. It just shows the character who got the high score and pretty fucking useless to uh, to say the absolute least. Um, I did I'm picking this for uh, five dollars and I'm hoping I can sell it for well ten because I ended up playing it. So, uh, so yeah, I don't know, like, like, no. Like, no. Like, honestly, the only reason I played this on my live stream and I'm doing a review of it is because I'm out five dollars and I might as well have some justification for it. So, share this video, alright? Just tell someone that Adam Agro spent five bucks on this fucking game. Please watch it. Um, he feels really, really bad. He was just trying to do something nice for, uh, his fans who celebrate Christmas and like Rudolph and all that shit. And, uh, yeah, this is what it got him. This is what me being nice got me, right here. And, I'm um, just flailing, flailing, flailing. And, uh, I am playing with a second player, in case you were wondering, that is a second player. If you don't have a second player, there's just no one in those slots. We paid the toys, yet he bursts in and starts saying hello to the audience. Say, hey, audience, make sure to thumbs up this video. And, uh, yeah, now we're in a nice little loading screen right here. It actually has a save feature, but I don't know why, because we beat the whole game in less than 15 minutes, but, yeah. The toys are ready for children all over the world. What's next, you ask? Why, cookies, of course. I see the elves have started to bake. You should get going. Another great cutscene featuring Sam the Snowman. That incredible voice acting. And now we're going to make some cookies. It's not Christmas unless there's cookies. I, uh, I'm having tacos for Christmas because it's, it's Tuesday, and it's, um, it's Tuesday regardless of it being a holiday. So, I wish they were making tacos. Sadly, they are not. I don't have a game in which you make tacos, but I probably should. Now, in this game, you're supposed to be uh, reenacting the motions that the gingerbread are, are making. It's supposed to be a more challenging game, but to be honest, you can flail it any way you want to, and you will have exactly the same score. Um, me and my player two here are flailing in two completely different directions and patterns, and we are staying right on par with one of, right on par with one another. Sorry, I was dumbfounded by the amount of stupidity that is happening on the screen at the moment. But uh, yeah, we're just flailing around for I guess I mean it has to be maybe a minute. I don't I don't even know how long these last. It's you know just over before we know it. I mean I could just I could sit here and make cookies all day, but it's kind of a uh, it's kind of kind of lame. I'm not gonna lie. But here I am, a giant Sherpa of sorts, making cookies with a deer. How does a deer use a rolling pin? You might ask yourself. Fuck you. That's how. So. Yeah, and look, she's using her mouth, and she's like, headbanging into the cookie dough. That seems fair. But, uh, yeah, those are some de delicious looking cookies, right there. So, happy times for all. I wonder how the Yeti's gonna get in here. Like, there doesn't seem to be much room for the Yeti. Maybe he won't be in this one. I'm just kidding, he'll be here. Relax. And there we do our victory dance. And there's the Yeti, woo! We make cookies victory dance. That's a dance I actually, I actually do when I make cookies, right there, the one that the uh, Sherpa is wearing. I don't remember the movie, so I apologize. Another loading screen. Thumbs up for loading screens. All right, final mission. We don't really have much of a choice on this one. 
because uh, we're going to be in the sleigh, and Santa drives the sleigh, and Rudolph's leading the sleigh. The big moment has arrived. Santa and his elves need your help to deliver the toys to all the children of the world. Oh, the weather is stormy and snowy, but don't fret. Rudolph will be leading the way. It's time to save Christmas. All right, now we're going into the final level. I shouldn't have said final level because I wanted you to be surprised, but hey, the video is almost ending. I mean, I can't fucking fool you. If we were doing it live, maybe, but this isn't live. This is this is YouTube. So, uh, yeah, this mini game. I don't really know how to explain how difficult it is. The sleigh moving up and down changes your trajectory, and your presence always arc regardless, but you want to either hit the house or ideally the chim chim. And um, as you can see there, I was robbed. But yeah, you end up, fl you flick your remote in the upwards, downwards thing, and you want to try to make it into the chim chim. Right there, that didn't count. Made me fucking mad. Uh, hashtag chim chim. Um, yeah, I can't explain how difficult this is. I mean, I do make a couple, and I did make a couple on my first run, but it's really kind of bullshittily fucky. And right there, you can see the uh, the Sherpa and the Yeti in the background, waving hello, saying happy holidays to to all, and uh, Rudolph with his nose so bright, leading the sleigh on this fine, fine horny Christmas. And we are just lobbing toys in the general direction of houses, cause, cause why not? And everyone decorates their house the same, so it must be like a gated community. You may notice that I am completely uh, murdering player two here as far as points, but uh, but that's fine. See that one actually made it in the chim chim. These are very generic toys, you know, no 3DSs. A Nintendo Wii would have been nice, like if they incorporated that, but hey, what, what can you do? All right, here's the final cutscene, ladies and gentlemen, uh, after this uh, wicked load screen. Toys have been delivered on time. Thanks to you and all your fine work, Christmas has been saved. Santa and the elves are already planning for next year. As for Rudolph and the others, let's just say they will go down in history. Saved Christmas. Now, um, we'll go to level select really quick here, and we'll show you that there are only four levels. Only four. That's right. Um, hopefully you didn't pay full price for this. And though you may be sad that Rudolph was nowhere to be heard and uh, no Christmas songs really, here you go.